Good evening, boys and girls. Are you all right? Welcome back. Um, so, thanks for your messages. Hello, Les in Australia. Just for you, I sprayed it all blue. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Going on all right, this. Um, most of it's okay. I've got a hair in that. And as I pulled the hair out, a bit of paint came off with it. So I'll touch that one up. Dashboard come out all right. The rear panel, something went wrong with it there. I need to just go over that again. It's, I don't know, the paint just didn't stick to it properly. <clears throat> it still feels a bit damp now, and that was a few hours. So, rear step, all good. Back doors are all right. The, the petrol cans or water carriers, whatever. I painted the, sprayed it green, because I kind of figured, yeah, maybe the, the tins were green, but the frame would have been blue. I don't know if that's right or not, but I think it looks all right. Um, and then the body. So this has had two light coats of, of the blue now. It's come out quite nice, done underneath as well. But I've got a thumbprint on there, <laughs> typical. So I tried with a bit of 2000 grit, wet and dry, just to try and get me th thumbprint out of it, but obviously it's gone right through. So I'll, I'll give that another coat. Um, yeah, so I have to do that before I can do do much else really um what what the plan is is i've still got some blankets there were some blankets and pillows that went with the, the gecko kit i thought of putting them in there but they they were okay but they weren't brilliant so sarah's going to make me some out of cotton wool or paper or i don't know how she's going to do it She's going to make some and fold them up and I think it's PVA and witchcraft to make some realistic looking blankets to put in the back there. Just a little something to have a bit of interest when you look inside. So I've got to wait for it to do that before I can put the roof on or anything. Um, so looking for something I can do right now because obviously the rest of it will take a bit of painting. Uh, I thought what I'd do is have a go at just doing a bit of dry brushing, some dirt, mud along the bottom here, see what it looks like. So rather than sort of mess about with oils or enamels or anything like that, I thought if I just do it with acrylic, then if it, if it goes wrong, I can just paint over it. No, no biggie. So uh, that's the plan. So I'm just going to get get a few different browns in the in the palette, and just really gently dab it on and see what it looks like. And this was a another little handy tip I found the other day. I've got f four or five of these palettes, and, and we share them, but. Yeah, like you do, you forget and the paint dries up and then you've got to try and scrub it and if it's enamel or oil or something, it doesn't come off. So just put a bit of tin foil over it, squish it in. Then if it gets too icky, put it in the recycling. It's got to be better for the planet to have a bit of tin foil in the recycling and chucking away plastic all the time. So, um, anyway, back to business. So looking at some, some browns I can use. So I've got beige brown, this sort of medium colour. Um, green brown, that's a bit similar. Sand yellow, Russian, oh that's green. Light brown, okay. Uh, oh yeah, dark earth. That sounds like it should be a good colour for mud, doesn't it? I will have that one. Uh, what else have we got? Middle stone. 
Mm. Yeah. Got all these colours. I haven't used half of them. You sort of get a good deal on a set of six or something, so you get them, you only use one or two. Um, but it's always good to have. Got sand, so that might be good. A bit of that. A bit, good bit of contrast. And I just want a dark one. Um, here we go. Oh, okay. Dark earth, earth brown, and sand. They all sound like they should be things that you'd find on the ground. Right, so I'm just going to mix them up and see what colour they come out with. Back in a sec. Thank you, thank you. So I've just put a blob of each in there and I've just tried a tiny little dab on this monkey old brush and just dab it on to see how it looks. Like people say less is more. Go over the top with it. <clears throat> well, you can if you want, I don't care. It's up to you. Do what you want. I'm kind of thinking it's easier to add a bit more later than it is to paint over it all to start again. Let's try a little bit of the next colour. This kind of looks all right. Then I'll um, stick a bit of uh, matte varnish over it just to stop it getting scraped off. Trying to think the direction that the mud would get splattered in. So obviously mud guards, they'll always be icky. There'll be plenty in there. And then sort of think of the direction that it would spray over the rest of the, of the chassis. Try and make it as good as I can. So along the chassis rails there, I want it to look dirty, but still be blue. So a little bit here. there. Just varying the colours as I go along. Oops. Smudged it a bit there. Yeah, got a bit heavy there. So I'll see if I can wipe that off quickly without taking the glue off. Because I haven't brought, <coughs> I haven't, um, Varnished it first, so I could quite easily take the blue off, but no, it seems I got away with that one. So cover that up, put a bit of that darker brown on there just to hide that a little bit. Not too awful. It's a bit heavier than I was going for, but never mind.
I'm thinking the front of the petrol tanks. If you look at the way, so the wheels obviously there, mud would have splattered up a bit that way. So the front of the tanks would be fairly icky compared to the rest of it. Obviously, the further away from the wheels, the the less there would be. And then just a bit up the side there. I don't want too much. Just slight little splatter up there. Oh, that's looking good. I'm liking that. I see, I'm going to stop there. Don't want to go too mad. Uh, and then just a hint of it everywhere else. And I haven't done anything like this in years. So. I'm and then it was with enamels, which, you know, you don't get a lot of forgiveness for that stuff. So this is quite, quite nice to work with. Mm. I'll leave the springs because I'll, I'll put them I'll make them a bit rusty, <clears throat> so I'll do that later. Yeah, it's fun, this. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Could have done with a bit less there, but oh well, not to worry. And the body sits over it, so yeah, you don't see that much of it, I suppose. But just do a little flick around the, the mud guard there. Yeah, slightest little bit, not too much. Just want to get the slightest little little splash around the edge there, just to break it up a bit, make it look a bit icky. That's it, just a little hint there. Not too much. Uh, now the engine. Um, Yeah, they, they were painted various different colours. Um, I'll do that later. I'll have a think about that. <clears throat> they came in sort of dark green and sky blue, weirdly. Um, probably black at one point, I think. So all sorts of different options I think it needs a little bit of lighter so this sand colour up the front just to make it pop I think is what people say yeah that kind of works So 
then I'm just brushing it over the top in the direction that the the tire would throw the uh, the paint the dirt mud just trying to give it a bit of a streaky effect but not too much I'm going to just try something uh, Gonna use a little bit of thinner. Try just brushing that over it. See what happens. Being really gentle with it because I don't want it to just mix the paint. But. Yeah, just about got away with that, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that looks right. Okay, let's do the other side. Going on a bit, a bit more because I put I've still got a bit of thinners on the brush. I quite like that effect. It's all splattery. It's all right. Maybe that's the thing I do is put a little bit of thinner in it. Just a tiny, tiny bit. So just thinking little bits like this <clears throat> would have sort of trapped the mud a little bit more. So there'd be sort of like a build up of mud in there, probably. So try and um, highlight those sort of bits a bit more. I don't know when to stop. Don't want to go mad. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Appreciate it. it's probably not the most enthralling video you've ever seen. It's a bit the same, same, isn't it? But I'm enjoying it. Uh, something different because I've not well it's been a very 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 long time since I did any weathering on a or anything on a military vehicle so god I can't remember the last one I did so yeah Never, that's a, my main thing was always planes, but uh, I had a dabble with a few, a few tanks and armoured cars and stuff. <clears throat> um, but it wasn't really my thing, something different, but uh, I think I found them a bit fiddly. 
especially anything with tracks on it. God. <laughs> Drive you mad. I suppose a little bit on the prop shaft. I suppose because that's spinning round, that's going to be sort of even in its colour because the the mud would have just you know it wouldn't stick in one place it'd get thrown off so it'd just be a general sort of grubbiness so it's giving that the lightest little bit of covering paint on it at all. Mm. I think we're pretty much there. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought it would you know, be in a fiddly area. I thought it would take quite a long time, but it wasn't too bad. Quite a place, isn't it? To my untrained eye, that looks fairly realistic. So you can see a bit better. If I've done anything glaringly stupid, please tell me. But I think it looks all right. Hmm. I'm going to stop learning self-restraint here. Okay. Uh, next up so I need to spray the the bits I, I messed up earlier um, but that's not going to be dry tonight so anything else I can do tonight let's have a look at the destruction and see if there's anything give me memory with anything Oh, I can put decals on there. Yay! I like decals. Right. It's a quick fix, isn't it? Doing decals. I was reading up about the, uh, if, you know, like a few reviews of this kit the other night. Um, by and large, it was nearly all everybody going, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, but some people said that the decals weren't very good. But I don't know if that was just like a, a dodgy batch or whether they're all a bit poor, so... I guess it won't show on these little tiny ones, but when you get to the big ones, I have to see how they go on. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Right then. Where's me? Micro set. Where's my dashboard? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right in front of me. Mm -hmm. So, my dedicated... Decal paintbrush. Just a little bit in there. A little bit in there. Just a tiny bit. Because I find if I put too much on it, the, the decals float off. So I'll have number two ready. Uh, All oh, right, okay, so the decal's already floated off the paper. So now I've got the fun of trying to fish it out. So that's the first one. And it's rolled up. Mm -hmm. I hoping it would just pop on and unfold itself just where I want it. <laughs> Uh, let's try and 
gently tease it with a toothpick. That's it, right. So far, so good. Ooh, cool it. Oh, look at that. I don't know what I'm doing. can just about make out on the decals where the numbers are. Can't actually read them, but I can tell where they're supposed to be. So I'll try and get them lined up. Where they would go. That's good enough. I don't know why they do this. I should have showed you before. Right in the middle of where the two dials are, it's a little bit sticks up. Of course, that means that the, the decal won't completely sit flat. I don't know, I've seen it on other kits as well. Why they do that? If they know they go, you're going to put a decal on it, why put detail there? Because you're not going to paint it. And then, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something, but I just don't see the point of that. But this stuff seems to work really well. As long as you remember to leave it well alone, give it time to flatten everything down. And then tomorrow that'll be perfect. So that's that done. It's a nice quick little satisfying job in it. Ah, what's next? I suppose what I could do, just staying on the subject of the dashboard, got these little dials here. I mean, now's the time to paint them if I'm going to. So I guess it's like sort of light switches and stuff. So they probably would have been like black or dark brown baker light, I would imagine. So I should just do them in a bit of black. Get my favorite little tiny brush out. Little dab of black. Black, there we go. Excuse me, very burpy. <sighs> Just a little touch there. Not going to go mad with it. Can you see that? Just a little bit of black on there. Barely shows, but keeps me happy. It's a bit tricky because, oh yeah, a couple of other bits. These two parts. Did 
stem last night. So, where is it? Yeah, these two. I looked at it last night. I thought I might as well stick them on before I painted it. Um, but like I said, I'll leave these off uh, until I've sort of weathered everything. And I'll leave the mud guards off as well. Uh, just to make life a little bit easier, as usual. But those, I thought, well, there's no harm in putting them on and then painting it. Um, no, not a lot else I can do tonight. Yeah, never mind. Let's have a little play, see what it looks like put together. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, it's going to look pretty good. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the uh, delivery of the the tire paint that I was recommended. So I haven't um, I haven't been able to do them yet. Uh, yeah, it's a bit a bit stuck, a bit of a loose end now. So all I'll do is I'll give that a coat in a second. Not sure what to do with that. Hoping that'll just dry out overnight. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I've just got the paint a bit too thin there. Mm, don't know. Yeah, just give that a quick coat. Touching this bit that I here. Messed up earlier. So I think my little idea of painting the blue over the green it might work if I knew what I was doing a bit better. I'm sure you can't really see that, can you? I can just about see, but the very edge of where I rubbed it down, just see the green coming through. But then, you know, a second later you take the paint off. So it's going to be risky trying to do that. Uh, mm, don't think my skills are quite up to it. So I think what I might do, do it blue. And then maybe try and do it around the other way and just kind of perhaps even with a cotton bud or something just get a tiny little bit of green on it and just try and smear it into the blue do it the other way around don't know it's all learning isn't it right i'm going to call it a night so i'll get that done leave it to dry for tomorrow so uh thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow Bye. Bye.